I've found over the years that one of the most intimidating things that boat owners find is anchoring. Whether it's a lack of knowledge or they've tried anchoring and it hasn't worked and they've dragged anchor. But once you've mastered the art of anchoring, apart from the safety factor, it opens up a whole world of opportunities. Places to go that you would never have thought of going before that don't have a mooring. In fact, I prefer anchoring because every time I put the anchor down, I can check the gear. Whereas when you pull up a mooring, you don't know what's down there. The critical thing with anchoring is understanding the principles of it. And once you understand that, then it'll become so much easier. Now, firstly, you need an anchor to suit the situation. Holding grounds are different. I have here an ultra anchor, which I find for the, for the boating that I do is one of the best. It buries itself really quickly. It holds at a greater angle and anchoring is all about geometry as well. But it also looks good on the bow of your boat, which is very important to me. Okay, so the basic principles of anchoring. Anchoring is a bit like a snatch strap. When you're four wheel driving, you have a snatch strap, you tie it to the, uh, a vehicle that's bogged and you pull it out with the other vehicle. Now the snatch strap is like a shock absorber and it stretches. It takes up the shock and the, it absorbs the energy. So it's a gentle pull. The anchor line does exactly the same thing. So when you're anchoring, you generally should be putting five times the depth of water out in your chain or line. In many cases that's very difficult to do. But the principles are the weight of the chain or the stretch in the line, that's your snatch strap. So if you, if you find that your boat's jarring when it's at anchor, what's happening is the chain or the line is pulling tight and it's pulling straight from the anchor. And that's when the glass, the ice falls out of your drink or you stumble over. So if you're finding that you're on the boat and you're anchored and that's happening, you don't have enough line out and you're pulling straight for the anchor. You should have enough line or the, line, the chain should be heavy enough so that all you're doing is just gently raising the chain and the boat will pull back again. You shouldn't be pulling directly from the anchor. That's when you start doing some damage or you pull the anchor out of the dirt and it starts dragging. Now there's a great little tool which is called an anchor buddy. This is one here that I borrowed from Yacht Rock. This actually is a little weight. It's about 13 kilos of lead. And that has a two-fold effect. You hang it on the chain, so that reduces the angle of the chain pulling from the, the anchor, which ensures, gives a greater holding capacity, because if you're pulling up from here, it just pulls it out, so you want to keep the angle, chain angle right down. That increases the weight, so it increases your shock absorption, and also reduces that angle to the anchor. So for example, if you're in Parker Point, where it's only a couple of meters deep, You've got boats all around you. You can't put three to five times length of, of scope out. You're restricted, so you put your anchor buddy on there and that acts as a shock absorber. The other thing you can do is put a snubber on. And the snubber, in this case, here's an example. The snubber hooks on the chain and it hooks to the cleat on, the, on your boat, on the bow of the boat. And this is a great device because this also acts as a shock absorber because this stretches whereas the chain doesn't stretch. So this gives you some shock absor absorption. It also enables you to take the weight off the anchor winch on board the boat because you can imagine you've got the chain coming out of the fair lead of the boat, it's wrapped around the winch and going down into the storage compartment on the front of the boat. So if you pull tight on this, if the boat drifts back in a gust of wind, lifts up the chain, pulls tight, it's putting all the weight on the gears of the anchor winch. So by using the snubber, you're actually taking the weight on the snubber and away from the anchor winch. You'll find your anchor winch will last a lot longer if you do that. Anyway, let's get out in the water and see how it works.